It's always exciting when a rookie pitcher makes his first major league start, and that's the case today, Bob, for left-hander Blake Walston. Yeah, Blake got his feet wet a little bit, a relief appearance against the Dodgers earlier this season in relief of Jordan Montgomery, and it was actually pretty good. Popped up behind second, and the shortstop is Kevin Newman. Good start for Blake Walston. One and two on Brian De La Cruz. Got him. One after him with a fastball and a two-strike count, and that's the first strikeout for Blake Walston. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and the inning is over. Fabulous start for Walston. He has struck out two of the first three. Ryan Weathers, who's been pretty darn good this season. Two wins, four losses, and a 3.49 ERA. His last two starts have been fantastic. Eight innings of shutout baseball against the Tigers. And his first pitch is sent out to center field. Jazz drifting back a few steps, but plenty of room. One pitch and one out. Here comes the 1 1 pitch. Uh, Corbin Carroll, ground ball hit left side, flagged down by Rivera just to his left, spins and fires the first. And there's two outs here in the bottom of the first inning. And he swings and powers the ball in the air towards the gap in right center field. On his horse is Jazz Chisholm Jr. And he nearly collided with Dane Myers, who's got to get the heck out of the way. Jazz makes the catch, and that is a quick and easy bottom of the first inning for Ryan Weathers. Here's the former Diamondback, Emmanuel Rivera. I think they're going to say that hit Emmanuel Rivera. If that fastball clipped him, which it obviously did, it just nipped him. So that's a one-out base runner for the Marlins here in the second inning. That one sneaks through. Suarez was in on the cut of the grass, so it took away some of his range. Newman couldn't get over, so a base hit for Jazz, and the Marlins have two on. Goes down the 2-2. Swing and a miss. Another changeup, and another strikeout, his third. He figures that would be an effective pitch against this uber-aggressive Marlins lineup. Two on and two out, and our first look in this series at Vidal Brujan. Swing and a jam shot pop up over to first. Walker makes the catch, and the inning is over. Nice job by Walston working around a little trouble. Christian Walker to begin the bottom of the second. 2-2 two -two is swung on it, missed strike three. Went right back to the changeup, pulled the string on Walker. That's the first strike out of the ball game for Ryan Weathers. Four up and four down. Now 3-2. Right back to Weathers. Flips to first. Another 1 2 3 inning for Ryan Weathers. Scoreless after two. Eugenio Suarez to lead off for the Diamondbacks. And the offering is swung on it. Missed strike three. Another punch out for Weathers. His second of the day. Seven up and seven down. Diamondbacks don't have a base runner yet. Blaze Alexander trying to change that. It's the 1 0 -oh pitch. Swing. And he's got another hit now against the lefty Weathers. That one falls into center. And a one out single gives the Diamondbacks a little spark here in this bottom of the third inning. And that is over the outside edge called strike. Three. That was the sweeper that time from Weathers. That's his third strikeout. The first looking. Now there's two outs in the inning. We'll go back to the top of the order. Here is Cattell Marte. Ground ball hit towards short. Anderson stays down on it. Has it. Throws the first little low. Grabbed by Berger and the side is retired. These two lefties matching each other pitch for pitch. Jake Berger leads off the road half of the fourth inning. Got him. Fast ball up and away. Four strikeouts for Blake Walston. Good start to the fourth. So here is Jazz. He's one for one. He sends one in the air, deep to right field, going back into the corner, looking up Gritchick, and this will hop on the track and over the wall. Jazz is two for two. He's got a single, and now a two-out stand-up automatic double here in the fourth. Well, he's really going good right now, Kelly, and it apparently doesn't matter where he's hitting, whether it's out of the leadoff spot, hitting fifth, or now for the second consecutive day, hitting sixth. The 0-1, swinging a ground ball to short. Newman has it. And he will throw to first in time, and that's going to do it for the Marlins here at the top of the fourth inning. So, again, Walston working out of a small jam. Carroll's down there at second base with one out now for Christian Walker. Now the 2-2. Swung on it. Missed strike three. He powered a fastball by Walker for the second out of the inning. Second time he's punched him out today. And here is Randall Gritchick. He swings, and it's a high chopper towards shortstop. Anderson's got it on the run. Throw to first in time, and the inning is over. How about Ryan Weathers? He works around the leadoff walk here in the bottom of the fourth, still scoreless. It's a one-out walk issued to Nick Fortes here in the fifth. Dane Myers 0 for 2. 1-1. One, one. That's a ground ball, or a line drive, rather, that clips Walston. It caroms out towards shortstop. Picking it up out there is Kevin Newman. Everybody is safe. A one-out walk and a single, and the Marlins have first and second with one out here in the fifth. Uh, a bit of a break here for the Marlins, and we'll see if they can capitalize with first and second and one out. Big out to get here for Blake. Smothered it short by Newman. What a play! Kevin Newman just saved the run, and they get the out on Myers. Kevin Newman, oh, what a job he's done at shortstop. And that's an enormous play by Newman. Now that is a huge out to get. It all started with the defensive prowess of Kevin Newman. 
But Blake Walston has done a tremendous job here. He will leave with two outs in the fifth and his first major league start. On your feet for Blake. What we've seen from Justin Martinez, and his story told us the other day, he has been tremendously impressive and is going to get the biggest outs in a game at some point. Bell hits it in the air, drifting over to left center is Corbin Carroll. Justin Martinez gets the out and strands those runners. It's a one out single for Eugenio Suarez, second hit of the ball game for the Diamondbacks. There's a swing and a miss on a one two sweeper by Blaze Alexander. He's down on strikes for the second out of the inning. That follows the one out single by Suarez. Evan Newman now. Evan 17 hits in his last 13 games. Back handed off the glove of Anderson at short, and everybody's safe. A chance now for Kitt Cattell. Two on and two out. Cattell 0 for 2. Got to get this top three in the lineup going. And caught by Bruhan at second base on the first pitch. A line drive and Weathers works out of a jam. Scoreless going to the sixth. He has fired five shutout innings. Here's the 0-2. Carroll swings and misses strike three. It's the sixth strikeout of the afternoon for Ryan Weathers. Gritchick comes up empty. Another strikeout for Ryan Weathers. Make it seven through six, and we are still scoreless. Marlins might be poised to get on the scoreboard here in the seventh. They've got runners at first and second with one out for De La Cruz. Ground ball hit left side to the backhand of the shortstop. Newman! Oh, he threw it into the runner, Sanchez. Now breaking towards the plate is Fortes. He's going to score, and the Marlins lead 1-0. An error by the shortstop, Kevin Newman. He tried to feed it to Alexander. It was an awful throw, and that's how the Marlins get on the scoreboard, and they lead for the first time today. And Jake Berger's had a nice series. That's to the backstop. Takes a weird hop back, but both runners will move up on the wild pitch. Second and third. A couple of more insurance runs would be lovely here. And you're going to get him over Newman. One run is in. Here comes the second, and De La Cruz will score. Berger to second. Marlins bring home a couple more and take a 3 nothing lead. Here is Carroll. Corbin down to 184 on the season. Rips a line drive to left field. It's a base hit. Sliding after it was De La Cruz. It ricochets off him, heads towards the corner. As Carroll rounds second on his way to third, and he is in there. De La Cruz trying to make the sliding grab and left on what should have been a single instead. Corbin Carroll standing at third base. A one-out triple and life for the Diamondbacks in the bottom of the eighth. As Lourdes Gurriel Jr. steps in, Lourdes had an RBI double in the game last night. Swung on, grounded to third, Rivera gloves. He throws to first in time. Carroll scores. And with two outs, it's now a 3-1 to one ball game. And here is Eugenio Suarez. The Diamondbacks are down to their final out now. And now he delivers the pitch. And it swung on and missed strike three. This baby is over. The Marlins have won nine of their last 13. They have now won their fourth consecutive series. And they beat the Diamondbacks in the rubber match this afternoon by a final score of 3-1. to one.